Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to your tarot and oracle reading for the week of November 27th to December 3rd, 2023. I am sick this week, so send me some healing vibes. That's why my voice may sound a little off and why we're doing this reading in this format. So let's dive into your reading, though. We have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. You guys are super psychic, okay? There is no hiding anything from you this week. You will see through people's energy like nobody's business, okay? You are catching vibes. Ask yourself right now, like, do you, like, what are you picking up from people? Do you feel like someone is, like, hiding some feelings from you or has some, like, uh, motivations towards you, some, like, hidden intentions? Okay, just acknowledge that right now. In fact, you can leave it in the comment section if you want. Like, acknowledge what you're feeling, what you're picking up about different situations. Maybe even write it down. That's a really good psychic practice. Like, just write down the vibes or the intentions that you feel like people have towards you or, like, the outcomes that you predict will happen. Write it down because I feel like they are very on point right now. We also have new life emerging with the number 39 and 40 coming out. So they may be significant numbers for you. Uh, this is beautiful. Some of you guys may literally um, have some friends or family who are giving birth, recently gave birth, or are pregnant <laughs> this uh, week, this month, this year. And another thing I'm seeing though is like a new batch of energy being delivered to you. Uh, it's like you're breathing new life into your projects, your goals, your career, for whatever reason. It just feels like there's this new motivation. Uh, productivity seems to be very high for you this week. So you may be like running around doing a million things that need to get done. And like the dopamine that comes from that, the satisfaction that comes from that is really good. It feels like a lot's being done, you know? It, there's a lot of fresh energy um, within you right now, which is amazing. So let's dive into the tarot this week. We have the Empress as your first card. You've got to be kidding me. First and foremost, Gemini, I feel like you are in a very powerful position um, when it comes to influencing people this week and um, sort of taking on a leadership role when it comes to how you're perceiving situations and what you want in your relationships. It feels like the the power is in your hands here, you know? You're not under anyone's thumb, okay, anymore. You know, you're not waiting around for anyone. It's like you have all the power in this situation, which is amazing. And you have you are taking control of your life and it's like you're living life on your terms, you know? You're no longer living life on other people's terms or just waiting around and serving other people constantly. It's like, no, this is my life on my terms. And this may have been a recent shift for you in perspective. Like some of you may have recently this year given up uh, the habit of people pleasing or giving other people all the power in relationships and then leaving none of the power to yourself. So I'm seeing here, it's like, this is what I want my life to look like. This is, you know, how I'm going to allow things to unfold. And anyone who matches my frequency, my vibe, and wants the same things will naturally be attracted towards me. That feels to be your philosophy in life at this time, which is what gives you power, okay? We have the Knight of Wands, okay? There may be a fire sign or someone with heavy fire placements, so Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and that would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um that is showing up in your reading this week. This is someone who I feel like uh, really admires you and wants to move things forward with you. They're inspired by everything that you're doing. They really respect your ambition and like all of this energy that you have. Like you're just booming around, bustling, hustling, and uh, they really, really respect that because this is a quality that they too share. You know, they too are someone who uh, has a lot of ideas, inspiration, aspiration, okay? And uh, they do view you as the empress and they're viewing themselves as a knight. So, you know, there is a sort of like I said, a power dynamic where you have the power here, guys. Um, but this is beautiful. Uh, this person may also have a lot of passion towards you, whether that is creative passion and ambition. This could even be multiple people I'm seeing. Uh, people who want to work with you is sticking out strongly. 
people like messaging you, um, wanting your advice, your inputs, or like wanting to collaborate with you is coming through. But I'm also seeing like someone more romantically uh, inspired by you, I guess. And they may or may not um, let those feelings shine, but you can tell that they respect you and they like admire like the sort of way that you carry yourself, the power that you have, which is interesting. Three of swords in reverse. I love this card. The swords are coming out of the heart. And I feel like any painful, confusing energies from the past are coming to a close. For some of you, this could directly be involving this Knight of Wands person. Uh, there may have been pain, confusion, anxiety with them in the past, or just not knowing where you stand. And I feel like you are releasing that energy and feeling very healed and good. The energy that I'm feeling for you this week feels amazing. It's like you are clear-minded, you are energized, focused, and again, like you just have so much power to you this week like you're in control of the situation you're not the one who's out of power by being the heartbroken one being the one that's left in the dark um left in confusion anymore it's like you know what you're doing your work is cut out for you you know what your next steps are and you're focused on that and you know it's like i'm i'm gonna live my best life with or without people with or without the approval of others and that's a very respectable uh quality you also have an additional amount of power because your psychic intuition is so high this week i feel like you really read into people easily so you're like first off unmanipulatable but also like if you wanted to manipulate people i feel like you would easily do it this week uh not advocating for that i mean not all manipulation's bad more so like getting your way i want to say <laughs> and that doesn't have to be a bad thing but i feel like again power's in your hands fourth card out is the six of cups beautiful loving energy six of cups is quite a happy card one of the happiest in the tarot in my opinion and this shows platonic love and connections coming up in particular it's like reconnecting with people who you may not have seen in a long time friends who you may not have talked to in a long time you are communicating with which is beautiful your friendships are really standing out right now um, also i'm seeing for some of you you may be making new friends or like deepening your friendship with certain individuals um, through creating memories this week with them that you will cherish for years to come. Okay, so there may be like going out and creating a beautiful memory, uh, which is wonderful. I love that. Also, Six of Cups, I always view this also as a good uh, business card. Uh, so if you are a small business owner, entrepreneur, or someone of that nature, freelancer, uh, that is looking good. And especially paired with this Knight of Wands, because whoever this Knight of Wands is, they really respect what you are doing with your career and with your life. And they are inspired by it. And so, uh, in fact, some of you guys, this Knight of Wands may be a business partner or someone who just like really, really supports you or wants to collaborate, like I said. And so, again, Six of Cups does show collaboration of minds. And you know what? Collaborations don't have to be this big, huge thing. It could also be something small like your friend giving you an idea for a, a business or like a side hustle you can do and you actually listening to that idea and implementing it. Like that's how small collaborations can be. So next we have the ace of swords in reversed okay you have two swords so far both of them are in reverse so um you know what i feel like ace of swords reversed uh and if we look at it the sword is sort of over his mouth and it's reminding me of like putting the finger over your mouth like kind of like the hush like shh, uh motion here uh in reversed really clarifies i feel like someone is not communicating their true deep feelings and this is confirmed for me with the sixth chakra the third eye chakra coming out here because there is unspoken feelings or intentions that certain individuals in your life have towards you and you 100 <laughs> percent already know what these unspoken feelings and tensions or intentions not tensions or it could be a little tension you know um are okay you already know because they don't have to tell you psychically you already know like you can already pick up the vibe like uh, you know what i think this person has a crush on me or you know what i think this person wants to um uh keep in contact with me just in case you know i have some business that i can help them with uh later you know what it's something like that i the 
I can't give exact examples because for all of you watching, it'll be so different, but there's definitely someone or multiple people in your life right now where it's like they're not fully speaking um, their feelings towards you or like what their intentions are towards you, your connection with them at this exact moment. But it's like they don't have to because you already know. And um, I, that's just something I want you to keep your eye on. Okay, you don't have to like point it out. You don't have to talk about it. But like just keep your eye on that and really pay attention to what your intuition is saying. Final card out is the Eight of Swords. Upright. Wow. Huh. This is interesting because we had a pretty good reading. And then Eight of Swords finishing off the week is uh, very unusual because... This is a card of like being trapped in your own fears, overthinking, worries, um, and negative negativity. You know, it's it's a card of being mentally stuck, like a little pessimistic as well. Huh. But the thing about the Eight of Swords is that you don't have to stay there. Okay. The thing that I always say about the Eight of Swords is if you follow your intuition your psychic intuition and act off of that and do what it tells you to do, you will never be in an eight of swords moment, you know, because your intuition is always guiding you out of danger, guiding you out of anxiety, helping you achieve peace, safety, security, guiding you in the best direction possible. So it's only when we ignore our intuition or procrastinate on acting on it, that we find ourselves in these eight of swords moments where we feel stuck, we feel anxious, we feel worried. So again, I just feel like it's so important for you to consciously acknowledge what your intuition is telling you this week because it's giving you the steps forward. And I'm not saying, I don't feel like this Eight of Swords is destined to happen, like you feeling anxious, stuck by the end of the week. I feel like you could easily get out of this energy and prevent it altogether if you act on your intuition. For example, like if your intuition is saying like, I don't even know. <laughs> There's so many different examples I could use. If your intuition is saying start this business idea as soon as possible or like start going to the gym as soon as possible. That's a very common one. Um, if you start doing that, like you may have benefits that you don't even realize that you, you could have gotten like, but you need to actually start it. The more you delay listening to your intuition, you know, the more you're just going to get stuck and stuck and stuck in this eight of swords energy. So even if it seems unrelated, like say that you have really bad anxiety and worry and you keep telling yourself, oh, I want to work out. I want to go to the gym over and over and over again, but you keep procrastinating it. You may not realize it, but your intuition keeps telling you like, hey, let's go to the gym. Let's go to the gym because working out may actually help you break free from that anxious thinking. Like it'll benefit you in more ways than one. You can't always read into the deeper motivations uh, that your higher self has and why they send you these intuitive nudges. You just have to trust it because your intuition comes from your higher self. Your higher self is existing on higher dimensions. They can see the past, present, and future clearly, clear as day. Okay. And you can't because you're here on earth where you can only see the, the third dimension, you know, three dimensions here. Um, you can like get into your imagination and your mind, think about past, present, and future. Like you can tap into that, but it's not as clear as your higher self can see it. And so your higher self sends you advice via your intuition, that gut feeling of like, just do this, trust me. Okay, so definitely journal or like actively like meditate and try to consciously acknowledge what your intuition is saying, okay? Thank you guys for joining me. Watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this week ahead. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below, and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my goddess energy intention oil there and my spiritual life coaching sessions there, so check it out. Bye-bye.